Okay, in this question for the first part, we're asked to show the following is true. The sine x add 30 degrees plus sine x subtract 30 degrees is a sine x, where a is some constant to be found. Now, this is quite straightforward. In your formula book, you will find the following formula. You will find that sine of a plus b for some angles a and b is equal to the following. Sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b. Now we are applying this in this case, but let's do sine of x add 30, like this, where our a is x and our b is 30. So clearly you can see this would be sine x cosine 30 plus cosine x sine 30. Okay? And we should know the values of cosine 30 and sine 30. Now, cosine 30 is root 3 over 2. So I could rewrite this as root 3 over 2 sine x like that, and sine 30 is a half, so we could write that as a half multiplied by cosine x. So this is our sine of x add 30. Now, what's sine of x subtract 30? Well, sine of x subtract 30, well, it's this formula actually in our formula book has a plus or minus, so when it's a subtract, a subtract b, you're going to use sine a cos b, cos b subtract cos a sine b. So in this case, we're going to have a sine x cosine x cosine 30 subtract cosine x sine of 30, which when we tidy up would be equal to root 3 over 2 sine x um, subtract a half cosine x. Okay, so this would be sine of x subtract 30. So therefore, sine of x add 30, and what we're doing, we, we're adding sine of x track 30. We're just adding these two lines here, adding lines 1 and 2. Now think about what happens when we add them. This root 3 over 2 sine x plus another root 3 over 2 sine x is a half uh, root 3 sine x plus another half root 3 sine x, which would just be root 3 sine x. So root 3 sine x. And what happens when we add this and this? Well, we've got um, we've got a half cosine x, subtract a half cosine x, so there'd be nothing. So therefore, it would equal root 3 sine x. So we found our a, our a is equal to root 3, so we should state that as well. a in this case is equal to root 3, and we're done for part a. Then it says, um, I'm just going to take a snapshot of this. Then it says, hence find the exact value of the following, given you in the answer in the form of b root 6. Hence means using what we've just done. Now, obviously, we're going to keep this 30s here. Can you think of a number for x that would get me the 75 and the 15? Well, hopefully, you can think to yourself, if x was equal to 45, it would work. So if you let x equal 45, using this formula here, you would get sine of 45 plus 30, which is sine 75, which is what you want, plus sine of 45 subtract 30, which would get you the sine 15 you want, and you know that would equal root 3 sine of x. But this time we've chosen our x to be equal to 45, so it would be sine of 45. Now, you should know what sine 45 is. Sine of 45 is root 2 over 2, so this would be root 3 multiplied by root 2 over 2, which you could... Uh, which would be equal to uh, root 6 over 2. Or you could write that as a half root 6, like that. So b is equal to a half in this case. So b is equal to a half in this case. And we found the answer in the form requested. Then it says solve the following equation. Now we've got cot squared, cosec y, and a cosec squared. It would be best if we had everything in terms of uh, cosecs, I think, now, because we've got a, cos a single cosec and a cosec squared. Let's change this cot squared into cosec squared. Now, we should know our uh, formulas in our head, our identities, and I'll just point them out for you. Um, our identities that we need to know are as follows. And the identity that relates cot squared and cosec squared is the following. Cot squared add 1 is equal to cosec squared. 
Okay, so I'm going to take these away and I know I'm using that identity. So what I'm going to, I'm going to tell the examiner I'm using that identity for part B. So I'm going to say that I'm going to use the identity that cot squared of y add 1 is equal to cosec squared y. Something I need to know in my head there. So if I'm trying to solve 2 cot squared y plus 5 cosec single y plus cosec squared y is equal to 0 between for y between 360 and 0. All I'm going to do is replace this cosec squared. So I'm going to replace this here by this as a subject, which would be cosec squared y subtract 1. So I'm going to write that 2 cosec squared y subtract 1, add 5 cosec y plus cosec squared y is equal to 0. Expanding this out, 2 cosec squared y, subtract 2, add 5 cosec y, add cosec squared y is equal 0. Combining the cosec squareds, I would get that 3 cosec squared y, add 5 cosec y, subtract 2 is equal to 0. And now hopefully we've got a quadratic we can factorise. Let's try 3 cosec y, a single cosec y would have to be there, and I'm forced into a negative 2 and a negative 1, which I think, um, or a positive 2, sorry, and a negative 1. That would work out for me. So therefore, cosec y on the one hand is a third, and cosec y on the other hand is negative 2. Cosec means 1 over uh, sine. Uh, so sine y would therefore be equal to the reciprocal of this, which is 3, or sine y here would be the reciprocal of this, which is negative a half. Now, obviously, I'm going to ignore this one because it's got no solutions, because sine has to be between 1 and negative 1, so no solutions there. But I can find my solutions here. y is the inverse sine of negative a half. Calculator out. Are we in degrees mode? Um, yes, we're in degrees mode. So inverse sine of negative a half, and we get negative 30. So y is equal to negative 30. Let's draw a quick sketch. Now I'm drawing the sine y at 1 here, and sine looks like this. And negative 30, you can see that would be one answer. So 30 back from zero. So you can clearly see the other answers are going to be here and here. So that's 30 forward from 180. So the other so the other answers are going to be 180 plus 30. And this one here is going to be 360 subtract 30. So y is going to be 360 subtract 30. So my answers for y, y is 210 degrees and y is going to be 330 degrees. And I'm done. Obviously, at the very end, you should go back and you should put those values into this equation and check that they work.